All right, guys, what's up, and welcome back to Far Cry 6. On our last adventure, we beat the game. We just jumped in this boat, went to Miami, and that was the end of it. That was the secret ending for the game for anybody that makes it to this part and decides, should I take the boat or should I not take the boat? Um, probably not a good idea. There were a few things that, um, when you kind of are sitting there on the uh, beach that that radio guy was talking about, the first one I feel like is like a little Easter egg type thing to... Uh, a Jurassic Park reference because it said a secretive park or whatever open to the public. That's really the only thing that comes to mind when I think of that. And then, of course, it talked about, you know, this place after you've left and then the pandemic that's going on still. So, but we're going to continue onward and we're going to go talk to Juan. And there's Guapo. You know, I still haven't tried to pet him yet. Um. I did, did, yeah, uh. -uh. I wouldn't do that. Also, look, he's got a gold. He had a gold tooth. Look at him. This man's chilling on 24 carats. All right, pick up some gasoline. That looked like it was in a bleach container. I don't know how safe that is, but it is what it is. A bunch of jive turkeys. Let's go in here and see what's up. Danny, back for more chaos, I see. Mm, always back for more chaos. You know how it is. Want me to make you the best supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, We'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice. Guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. Okay. Sounds good to me. You'll be back. They oh, always I, come. I always come back. Always. So what do we got here? Oh. So, Furioso, a defender, emit an explosive ring that roasts enemies and press jump to thrust forward in midair. Phantasma, create chaos by launching poison gas onto the battlefield that can turn enemies against one another. And emits an EMP pulse to knock over enemies, disable security systems, and enable vehicle hijacking. Okay, El Moro. Uh... Shield takes standard amount of damage. Shield deals standard melee damage. Can we inspect these? Oh, yo, that's a crossbow. Okay. What is this? Little pistol looking thing. El Besito. Looks like a... Oh, it's a poison sprayer. Okay. And what is this one? Silent nail rounds. Ooh. Oh, so, okay, so it takes 100 uranium a pop to buy those. Those the same. Um, I really don't know. I think we'll come back. I'll come back to this at a different time and we'll try it. I like the rocket pack that we've got so far. This man's over here building nuclear bombs. Supplies back here, if I can pick them up. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. More scrap. More gas. Pick up some more stuff. I don't even know where to, where the heck we're going at this point. Guess we gotta go up and talk to Clara. Ooh, see what she wants. Which way do we go? <sighs> ah. Wow. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Cause you were surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. 
I can leap any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Fili Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Tara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich from a family of true yarn she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants, but she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor, from the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? You want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush up an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Well, hopefully he doesn't expose our secret of having fun blowing stuff up. That would be uh, very unfortunate. All right, so we have to go and find Maximus. Where is this fool at? Where are we going? 2,423 meters up a decent way. Well, I guess we hopping in a boat and we going. This will be a nice, nice little drive up here. Extra content now available. Okie dokie. 
Uh, now I'm very curious at what, uh, I haven't really explored too much wildlife. I don't know what's in the water, <laughs> what's on land. I got some Far Cry credits and stuff. I got all kinds of stuff. Jeez. They're specially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. Well, that yes. boat's on fire. You've been warned. Okay, let's click the map here. What is our best course of action? I think if we just go all the way around the island here, that'll probably be good, but... Then again, I might uh, might be able to do something otherwise. All right, guys. After a long, long trip around this friggin' island, we are finally getting ashore. I'm just crashing this boat. I don't care. Oh, it is wonky as can be. Okay, we're just getting off of that immediately. It took forever to get around that island. All right. So we have to roll up here and talk to this guy. Getting our exercise in today, gotta work on those glutes. What kind of person works in a place like this? You Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 no Philly here. Whoa, what's in your bag? Nowhere I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So. Why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say it was coming? Clara, Libertad! Those are big names to throw around. <laughs> we found Chirizo! Let's go! See Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. Okay. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. So this is a word. Really magic, baby. Want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, <sighs> our backbone. His family is going to save our land. Great. Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero. <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. La Espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. La Espada, oh, man, she's a fiera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, deal? No. Well, then don't let the poison get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. Well, that was an awkward interaction. Almost got blown. Well, I mean, technically we did get blown up, but that's beside the point. Okay, now we have to go find her, and she's at a plantation. It's only 1,600 meters in that direction. Why? Oh, my goodness. The Mongoose and the Man Treasure Hunt. A man having a feud with a mongoose. I have to check this out. Uh, we'll check that out another time. I have to go for a little bit of a drive, it would seem. We're going to collect these little bit of resources here. What is this? Stop swimming. The Blue Hole Cave is off-limits to swimmers of all ages and experience levels. If you think you can hold your breath, don't. Another treasure hunt. Interesting. 
All right. Oh, we have a TV. Find a pickup point. Bring this vehicle to a vehicle pickup point. You will then be able to call it from any vehicle pickup point for delivery. Oh, there's an airplane. Hold up. Hold up. Let's collect this little bit of stuff here real quick. What do I have unlocked? Or what is available? This is an air... Fly the friendly skies in this heavily modified dune buggy, which takes some skill to drive on land, but soars effortlessly in the air. It's a dune buggy? Okay. Number one. Let's enter as a driver. This will be a quick flight over here. I actually don't even know how to fly. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. I have a feeling we're going to get shot down. You know, the guerrilla you tried to blow up? What's this plantation look like? Uh, you know, uh, cigars, white suits, dinner parties, except with guns. Come on, big city hero. You're in the west now. It's a plantation. It's an old building with tobacco all around. It's bad I got her size on a lieutenant, so she's probably inside. Uh... Who is she after? I don't know. The Montero's playing quiet here. And you might actually want to try doing the same. I'll just bail out. You can shoot. You can shoot me down. You can shoot it down. I don't want it. I don't want it. Hey, Clara. I'm sorry. Not exactly. Apparently, I have to find his daughter first. Oh, yes, Camila. Do whatever it takes. We need the farmers behind us. We're going to take the west. Heading there now. Call you once I've met Carlos. Hey, I'm gonna. I need this. Yeah, I kind of figured we were probably going to get a warning they get shot down eventually. It's okay. They make airplanes like they make candy. Plenty of them. So, the plantation she's at is inside of here. I don't see any bad boys anywhere, so I'm assuming whoever this lady is we're going to find, she is just messing these people up. Everyone's dead. I guess that's a good sign she's doing a good job. This is Spada, he's been fucking around. Oh my goodness. She has murdered everybody up in here. The BP SMG. Shit, another one. Oh, damn. Oh, there's a defense point right here. You know what, for safety. I'm just gonna go ahead and disable this real quick. Try to call back up now. Uh let's go up on the roof. There's a yellow thingy up here. Um, I don't even know. Guess we run over here. No. Oh, I could have jumped from down there. All right. So she's some she's just somewhere inside this mansion zone. There's still a yellow thing down there, so I'm assuming there might be a basement. I have to get down. Is this door open? No, it does not. Alright. Well, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grapple. We're gonna descend. Detach and find the stairs to get to the second floor. Move, Guapo. 
This has to be where she's at. Yep. The sword? They should call her the blade. Oh. Finger. She's fucking good. Well, that poor guy's dead. What the fuck is happening up there? Napoleon is pequeño. You don't want to lose that name. He's executed people from Stop! Please! Jesus! Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You, baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? Please don't kill me. <laughs> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, oh, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, private island. Got what you need? No. But it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by oh. one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right again. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. That is the type of girl Let's you do not want to piss outside. off. Okay. Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced off. Military is going to be on our ass. Oh, come on, Guapo, move, bud. Binga, we got trouble. Oh boy. Oh, come on. So many of them. Where I felt like I'm aiming right at him and shooting him. It's just not working, but that's just me being terrible. Oh my goodness, I hate iron sights so bad. Oh, if I don't heal, I'm screwed here. Oh, it's out of ammo. Darn it. Let's just grab this bad boy up right here. Boom, you did. I don't even know if that's probably not even going to reach. Oh, it did hit him. They brought a freaking chopper. Come on, reload, baby. Come on, reload, baby. Grab this, and then... There we go. Oh, my goodness. So much for quiet. Let's go. Well, which way are we going there? This way. Come on. Right behind you.
Oh, there's some stuff hiding in the bushes. Keep up and stay close, okay? Okay, let's ride. Uh, sure. That's it. You're okay. Yeah, don't worry about the crocodile that's just hanging out there. You're fine. Oh, it's got that auto aim thing on. I didn't even look through the controls to see if that was on or not. <laughs> Although I'm not gonna lie, I think I would prefer it to be on because that was just way too easy. Plus this little scorpion with these explosive shots. Man, it just destroys those guys in the hazmat suits. Oh, there's a tank. Sure, I guess if that's what you consider good. You see now. Ooh. Okay, I think we lost them. See, we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Military academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a mean mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. I haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Mm hmm. Sounds nasty, honestly. Whoa now. If I speed up, does she speed up? Okay, yeah, she does. Should have guessed that. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew Jose is the real problem for us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon the Pequeño. Little Napoleon? Cute. The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for two There are years. so many crabs now in this game, dude. It, it is ridiculous. For that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Voice soon made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But Papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trust his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others glad I said. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. How far God, I hope so. This would have been a lot of killing for nothing. You in a rush? No, no. It's okay. Getting some good cardio in. I don't know that this is necessarily cardio when you're riding a horse. Ooh. What's going on? You're in the West now, Guerrera. The sword and the hero. Nice to see you two alive. Not all find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but lucky for you, this one's good. <laughs> Well, you're just in time. El Jefe's making dinner. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is... I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, not fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 hey. Leave Chorizo out of this. <laughs> our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us. That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. 
Save it for the dessert, buddy. Come on. Why is the dog licking the blood? And why did that man just punch a damn crocodile? Why am I in third person? <laughs> um, this is interesting. Can we just leave the game in third person? I would love to play this in third person. It's actually quite interesting. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We have um, success. Well, hold on. Lara, I made contact with the Monteros. How did it go? Well, Carlos wants nothing to do with me, but I get along with his daughter. I think she's my way in. You need to understand them. Become one of them. First step is understanding this camp. I'm going to have a look around. Okay, Danny. Take care of yourself. Okay, phone call that interrupted is over with. That's going to do it for this episode. We have witnessed a man wrestle and literally almost knock out an alligator cold with one punch. Um, a little wiener dog drinking or licking its blood up from the ground. Um, I've successfully crashed a plane uh, because I almost got shot down. And um, so far, so good. So, if you guys like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you all in the next one.